We'll be going over how to connect a Secure IO2 to a reader, as well as add and configure it in BioStar 2. You'll first want to connect your Secure IO to your reader. To determine which wires from your reader to use, please refer to the reader's installation guide. Links to installation guides can be found in the description. For example, I'm using a BioEntry W2. To connect the reader to your Secure IO, we'll use RS485 cables whose names contain either 485 or TRX. In my case, cable 15 corresponds to D+, cable 14 to D-, and 16 to ground. So, I'll connect the corresponding cables from my reader to the Secure I.O. Next, I'll want to give my Secure I.O. power. Be sure to use a 12 volt power source. Connect the red wire to power plus, and the black wire to power minus. On the Secure I.O., you should see power light up red. As well, you should see the RS485 lights light yellow. This means that the Secure I.O. is receiving from and transmitting to the reader. You now have the option to attach an additional relay and two inputs that you can configure in BioStar. To add your Secure I.O. in BioStar, first click on the Device tab. Click on the device that your Secure I.O. is connected to. Look under Serial and ensure that the RS-485 mode is master. Click Apply to save this setting. Next, find your device, right-click, and click Search Slave Device. Select your device and click Add. Click OK. To configure your Secure I.O., first click on the Doors tab. Click on the door that is using your device. Ensure that the door's entry device is the one that is connected to your Secure I.O. You now have two options for door relay direct connection from the device, as well as the relay on your Secure I.O. If you select the Secure I.O. relay, you can select its input in the exit button and door sensor menus. If you select the Secure I.O.'s ports, ensure that the switch types are correctly configured for your exit button and door sensor. Also ensure that you have connected your maglog or strike to the correct port. Only either normally closed or normally open should be connected, based on the type of lock or strike you have. Click Apply to save your settings. If this configuration is correct, and you have a maglock or door strike connected, you can view the status of the door from the Monitoring tab. Click on the door status page, and select your door. If your lock is normally open, when the door relay is on, the door will be locked. If it is normally closed and the door relay is on, it will be unlocked. When the relay is on, the relay light should light red on your secure I.O. To unlock or lock your door, use the buttons at the top of the tab. When you unlock or lock your door, the status of the relay should change, and you should hear a click from your Secure I.O. If your relay light isn't changing when you unlock or lock your door, and you don't hear a click, you'll want to reset your Secure I.O. To do this, hold down the reset button for 3 seconds, and then hold down the initialize button for 3 seconds. Once you do this, your device will be in sync with your Secure I.O. The unlocking and locking abilities should be restored. 